What is up YouTube and welcome to this Falcon and the Winter Soldier episode 3 preview. Wow, that was a great episode too, full of easter eggs and sets out where the heck this show is going after that barren first episode. As always, if you enjoyed the video, then please do drop a like down below and subscribe with notifications on to never miss a video. So not only did we get more details on the flag smashes and a good look at Homelander, sorry, I mean the new Captain America, John Walker, however, a very unexpected look into the awful history and hidden past of the Super Soldier program is going to be unpacked throughout this series. And while the Flag Smashers take on the Power Broker, followed by Cap and Battlestar, as well as the unlikely trio of Zemo, Bucky and Sam, the three best friends that anyone could have, the secret history of Hydra will be explored. In episode 2, we got to meet Isaiah Bradley, who was introduced in 2003 in the series Truth, Red, White and Black. And he was part of a group of black soldiers who had the prototype serum forced on them. Of course, this was all later to be revealed as part of the Weapon Plus program, which is another video for another time. The origin story of this explored the racism that Bradley faced in the army and a Dr. Wilfred Nagel defected to the US and brought an early version of the Super Soldier Serum. Now, Bradley's platoon of 300 men were exposed to cruel experiments and only seven survived, including Bradley. But eventually, that was whittled down to two, including Bradley, during the war. And they became bitter that Steve Rogers was the face of Project Rebirth and the benefactor of a serum built on the suffering of so many black men. He was captured and the Nazis wanted to use him and have his body reverse engineered to get the serum and send the parts back to the US as a message. However, he escaped but was arrested for stealing a spare shield in Captain America costume. Now, his grandson, who we saw, is Eli Bradley and became the Patriot, further setting up the Young Avengers. However, the MCU Bradley continued to fight on in Korea, so I expect that, well, he was picked up and locked up after that battle. And, well, he might have been an American Winter Soldier and locked up between American skirmishes, but I, I highly doubt it. It's a poignant story that will allow Sam to connect with the legacy of the Cap title much, much more. Of course, Hydra used their own version of the serum on Bucky, and Zemo will be the one to naturally to explain all of this to the pair as they are linking up, and Zemo does know everything about hydra i mean he used it to try and destroy the heroes didn't he way back when work which he will no doubt want to finish and will no doubt be of the thought of the enemy of my enemy is my friend when it comes to these super soldiers now this may not be the focal point of the story and while one division took forever to introduce an arguably underwhelming big bad in the form of Agatha, but here we have already had the big bad introduced in the form of the power broker. Yes, we haven't seen him, but we know a group of terrorists, complete with super soldier serum going through their veins, are running about. And considering that he text the leader of the Flag Smashes, I would really imagine that yes, he is really annoyed that they stole that super soldier serum. Now, the power broker, you'll know if you watched my episode 2 breakdown, was actually the one who was responsible for giving John Walker and Hoskins their powers in the comics. And they did get their powers before becoming the super soldier Captain America and Bucky ripoffs. But, well... That was Carl Malice, who worked for the Power Broker, a.k.a. Curtis Jackson. Now, Carl Malice actually does exist in the MCU. He was in Jessica Jones Season 2, but seeing as the Darkhold was in one division looking very different, I doubt it will be the same person because of the amount of lack of respect they show for the other TV shows. Of course, the Broker is mysterious here in the MCU, and his identity will probably be a big season-long mystery, and he sent his agents to kill the Flag Smashers who stole his Super Soldier Serum. Now, personally, I would like it if it was someone we we know. I think that changing up the story here would be much better. Um, naturally, that won't be next episode, but next episode we will 
learn more about the Weapon Plus Super Soldier program. And I wouldn't be surprised if they do mention it or call it the Weapon Plus and tease us even more with mutants. That in mind, I expect that Bucky and our lad Sam will learn from Zemo about Hydra and this power broker. We know we will be heading to Madripoor, a wretched hive of scum and villainy. So I fully expect that this is where it will all be revealed. Of course, next episode will focus on Zemo and possibly explain how he gets out of jail. So Madripoor won't happen just yet. And considering that it is synonymous with mutants and the super soldier program was created in the comics to create fighters for a human mutant war and Wolverine was very much involved with it as well as Deadpool. Well, the MCU TV shows are going to go heavy with the X-Men teases, but I wouldn't get too excited, and I don't expect Mutants to debut here at all before the hype train goes mad. One thing I don't expect as well next episode is the endgame of my theory for John Walker and Battlestar in that in the end they get powers from the Power Broker, a sort of reverse of their comic book storyline. Walker is very much a do-whatever-it-takes for the US government, and I fully expect that Later on, after this is resolved, he will go on to form the Thunderbolts, which will be possibly starting to be formed, rumoured at the end of the Black Widow movie, which would explain why it was delayed so much. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Please do subscribe with notifications on. And I'm sorry this was a short video. There's not really that much to talk about about Falcon and the Winter Soldier because, well, it's not a theory-crafted absolute free-for-all that WandaVision was. But let me know what you think and please do check out my Snowpiercer finale video and I'll see you back here if you only watch my Falcon and the Winter Soldier videos on Friday for more Falcon. I'll see you soon and goodbye.